Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a leader, speaker, and creator, and you're welcome to episode three of the Tea Time Global Podcast. In the previous episode, I shared with you the half time strategy. Basically, three strategies that will guarantee you a win this year. And if you are yet to listen to episode two, go check it out. Since the last episode, I've been up to a couple of things. I took some time off from work to rest and attend to a number of projects, one of which is a platform I started called Lead Inspire Create. As part of the things we do at Lead Inspire Create, we organize quarterly cleanup exercises to improve the sanitation in my community. But this also provides a platform for us to have conversations around alternative livelihoods and how we can transform the waste we generate into a resource. So that's one part of it. The other part, part is this cleanup exercises create a platform for us to mobilize the youth in the community in order to provide them with guidance, mentorship, and support. And last week, I had some of the guys come over to my place so that we can have a discussion on how we want the next session to pan out. And these are youth who are very passionate about making impact in the community. So lots of ideas and we have quite a number of exciting stuff coming up. In this episode, however, I want to talk to you about the no stress zone. No stress zone. Especially in today's fast-paced world, we hear the word stress in almost every conversation. We hear people express how stressed they are about their work, school, or relationship. You see, stress is basically the feeling of emotional strain and pressure. Now, stress can have a huge impact on your health and is one of the contributors to depression in most people. Last week, I was having a discussion with my friend. And he was telling me how he's taking several days off to rest from work, but he still feels stressed. Today, the type of stress I want to talk to you about is a kind that is more mental than physical. And I'm sure this might resonate with quite a number of you out there. See, the no stress zone is a state of mind. In this zone, You don't feel stressed irrespective of all the chaos around you because you've changed your mind to sift through all the things coming at you and only focus on the things that are beneficial. How do you get to the no stress zone? So my friend and I had a very lengthy discussion and at the end of discussion, I shared with him three insights on how to get to the no stress zone. And that's what I want to share with you today. The first is embrace imperfection. This is basically coming to terms with the reality that no one is perfect. We can only strive towards perfection. It means accept yourself, accept your flaws. And once you're able to accept that you're imperfect, By extension, you understand that other people aren't flawless. This will make you more tolerant of yourself and others. It will make you tolerate other people's views. And this would reduce the tendency of you being stressed as a result of other people's actions. There's this Japanese philosophy called Wabi Sabi, which basically celebrates beauty in imperfection. He embraces the idea that nothing is permanent and that flaws are only a natural part of life. So once you're able to embrace your imperfection, it would help you overcome a great deal of stress. The second thing is letting go. It's interesting how this simple act would relieve you of a great deal of stress. 
This is the understanding that not everything is within your control. Let go of the things you can't change and focus on the things you can change. This idea is captured beautifully in the book Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. One of my favorite books. And in Habit 1, it talks about being proactive. For those who are familiar with the book, you'll be familiar with the concept circle of influence and circle of concern. The circle of concern are things that are outside your control. The circle of influence is made up of things that are within your control. These are the things you can control. Stephen Covey goes further to explain that there are two ways to live life. You can either be proactive or reactive. The Japanese call this Shakita Kagnai, which means letting go of what you cannot change. For me, I focus on what's within my realm to resolve and leave the rest to God to control that which is out of my control. That's how I solve mine. Because I realized focusing so much on what I can't control doesn't do me any good. Rather, I'll focus on the things I have control over and leave the rest to God. What are you holding on to? That is not within your control to fix. Let's go and watch how relieved you'd feel afterwards. Remember, let go. The third is getting rid of the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is basically the inability to believe that your success is deserved. Many of us are living in self-doubt. We feel we are incapable of achieving anything because in the past there are people who have made us believe we are not capable. So now even when someone is giving you a compliment, you find it hard to accept that you deserve that compliment. Each day, you walk on thin ice because you're scared to fail. And you're scared that when you fail, this will confirm the people's belief that you're not capable. When we achieve a milestone, we attribute it to sheer luck. We say, we're just lucky. Get rid of that imposter syndrome. You didn't accomplish all of the things you'd have because you were just lucky. Celebrate each of those successes because you've earned it. For the tax that lies ahead, break them down into smaller goals so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Get rid of the imposter syndrome. So folks, that's all I'll share with you today. Three things you should do to get into the no stress zone. Embrace imperfection. Let go and get rid of the imposter syndrome. And once you do these three things, you'll have the right mindset and you'll be in the no stress zone. Thank you for listening to episode three of the Tea Time Global Podcast. And if you haven't subscribed to this podcast, can you follow or subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know when we release the next episode. Also, share this with your friends and family so that they can benefit from this podcast. We're available on all your favorite listening platforms, that is Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube at Tea Time Global. You can reach us on our WhatsApp number, plus 233 Nine three four five zero zero eight plus two three three two zero nine three four five zero zero eight and let us know what stood out for you in this episode. To our next episode, remember to do something today your future self will be proud about. Cheers.